What's up traders, Cam Hawkins here from Trading Now. Welcome to this video where I'm gonna walk you through my Happy Singles bot, which I created for my Robot Builders Club, Robot Lab, this month of December 2021. Now guys, if you do wanna get your hands on this after watching the video, then you can get access to it in my Robot Builders Club along with 30 to 40 other robots that come as part of the Robot Builders Club. And you get the course where you learn how to build robots like I'm doing uh, without any coding at all, either fully automated or semi-automated trading bots. And uh, we use a tool called FX Dreamer. In fact, take the free training link below the video uh, to find out how we do it. And I won't get into too much detail now. Now today, what we're gonna do is we're gonna basically break down this bot. We're gonna learn the strategy behind the bot see how you can operate the bot, and then also have a look at some of the historical test results. I'm also chucking this up on a demo account as well, so we can see how it performs over the month of December, at least. Probably not the best trading month to try this thing, these things out, but hey, it is what it is. Now, uh, let's have a look at the strategy to start off with. So we've got here the Heiken Ashley candles, and that's all that it uses. I did look at adding in other indicators and stuff, and found that the more simple the approach, the better. Now, the, the premise and the theory behind this was what I could see on the chart. Now, what I was noticing with the Heiken Ashi is you get these sort of like small um, pushes followed by a color change, which happens here. So we go from red to white. And the white can either be one or two or three, four candles sort of max. Sometimes it could be more. Uh, and then after that, you usually get a dump, okay? Uh, you get a bigger move following the smaller move. So I was looking for a small move, so you can see here a small move, um, the color change candles, and then this one doesn't really eventuate, but this other small move does, color change, and we get a big move up. So here we go with um, a smaller move, color change, and then we get this big move up here. Okay, so that's the whole premise behind the strategy. So I had to come up with something to, to make this work. What did I come up with? Well, first of all, we had to define how we sort of look at this first chunk of blocks. Okay, so we have to have, to, to work out, uh, is this a chunk of blocks that we wanna look at or not? Um, we need to work out a minimum and maximum number of candles. So what I've got on this test, I believe is a minimum of three, maximum of 12. So we wait for three to 12 candles, then we wait for a maximum of two candles for the color change. So this can be up to two, and we got two here, two uh, red, red candles here, and then we take the trade on the next uh, white candle, which happens here. So the close of that candle, we take the trade. Now we're putting the stop loss <clears throat> just below the, uh, the low of the colors, uh, I might make these a bit smaller. So that was uh, two candles there. I'm gonna put that back in two and we'll make these smaller. So you're gonna take the trade, oh, for crying out loud, I didn't make it smaller. Right, let's make it smaller. So you're gonna take the trade at the close of that. Uh, you're gonna put your stop loss, you can see it there, and it's not quite at the low, but it's at a low plus a buffer of the color change candles, okay? So these change color here. We've got the low, we've got a buffer of a few pips and that's where our stop loss is gonna go. So we've taken that trade and we're now looking to get out on the next color change. Now this changes color here, it changes color there, and then it changes color up here it's, and that's where we get out. Now why do we ignore these two color changes? And the reason we ignore them is because I've also got another rule in saying, well, let's just clean this up a bit, I've got another rule in here saying that we want to be at least 15 pips in profit before we uh, we take any profit. So if we go over here, I think that's probably about where the 15 pips is. So it's 15 pips before we um, take any profit. So that's why we ignore these ones here where we get this like, okay, we've got the move, it's going, but oh, we've got this color change. Oh, it's do we get out here? We've got this other color change. We still haven't hit the minimum. And now we're way up here and we're gonna get out of that trade. Okay, so that's how uh, this thing's working. Now we're taking buys and sells. There's another way you can trade it, which is uh, by using a fixed R ratio for your exit. So what does that mean? It means 
instead of getting out the color change, we're just saying this is our risk. Let's use a block uh, here. This is our risk, so that block there. And we might want to get out at 1R, which is the same size of the block. We might want to get out at 2R. We might want to get out at 3R. So that will get us out there. So you've got two ways to trade it. You can either take the risk, get out at the R, or you can um, enter here and wait for that color change and then get out. Now, I haven't done any testing on any other time frames other than one hour. I haven't done any testing on the, um, the, the, the R exit. So there may be some good settings in there that I haven't discovered yet. So that's essentially how it works. There's some other little things in here. I'm gonna jump into the settings now, show you how you operate this thing and which elements uh, talk to which, uh, which parts of the bot. Okay, so quickly going through the settings here, guys. So you've got the option here, uh, zero, one, two. Zero equals both directions, one equals long, only two equals short only. You can change the time frame that you're trading on. Uh, that's quite handy for backtesting on MT4, in fact. Um, the other things here, so this is the minimum candles before the single candle and then the maximum candle. So this is your like sort of first push. So if we're gonna ha have a look here, this would be one, two, three, four, five candles uh, for a bullish push. So this one would have been ignored with three and four. If it was like three and five, then it would have been included. Uh, the maximum number of bars at single, so with here, we've just got one, which is obviously single. I've called it single when, in fact, it could be more than one. Um, this has got two, so in this case, it would have been ignored for a buy signal here. Uh, risk loss percent, so this is just standard, how much you wanna risk per trade. Uh, the stop loss buffer is, where's your stop in comparison to, I think this one here was, um, looking for a buying trade. I don't know why this one entered up, I'm not too sure. But anyway, the stop loss was up here, so that would have been the high plus the buffer. And then your take profit minimum pip, so we're waiting for it to go into profit a certain number of pips before we take that profit. Uh, use TPR, so what that means is we're gonna use take profit based on R, so you turn that to true, and that's gonna then uh, ignore this uh, element here and in fact it's just going to look for an R level that you're going to take profits at. So it could be 1R, 2R, 3R which is based on your risk. I haven't tested that. Uh, I've tested the uh, this one only along with the hourly time frame. So there's possibly some other good test results that could come out of this. Now start time and end time. So we've got the start of the day plus one hour which I typically do and the end time is whatever time you want it to, to end. So you can actually sort of say I want to only enter and exit trades within this time frame here. So that's how it runs guys. Let's jump in and have a look at some of the back tests. All right, so I'm gonna actually run this on four pairs. I'm running on four pairs at, in, at the moment. This is one of them, this is uh, silver. Now, the results here, it's only taking long trades. Uh, this one here, I'm just I'm doing this a bit of an experiment because it's got a really high win rate, but it does actually not have a very good uh, risk to reward ratio with, and it came out as a bit of a mistake in the back testing, and I was like, oh, why don't we just give it a go anyway? So we're gonna do that on silver, see if we can get some trades. Uh, at that, you know, it's, all the other stats are looking pretty good. <laughs> the profit factor, the sharp ratio is okay. Uh, the win rate's obviously high. The real sort of downfall of this one is it's got such a, a wide stop in most cases that you're gonna find that, you know, you're gonna get these big dips here. So we're gonna run silver, see how that goes. We're gonna run gold uh, as well. It did well on gold, so these are pairs that typically run. Um, and yeah, this one here didn't have such a high win rate, but the risk to reward was in our favor. So we've sort of offset the silver with the gold, uh, ironically. And yeah, it's almost like a, not quite a two to one, but uh, it's getting up there on average. So uh, what else we got here? We've got the, <laughs> Out of all the Japanese pairs that typically trend, this is um, CAD JPY. So we've got CAD JPY. Um, this one here, the most of the stats are not flash, a low win rate, uh, low profit factor, low sharp ratio, but it does trade a lot more often than, than the other pairs. So I'm hoping to see this one take a few more trades, give us a bit of action, and see if we can catch any of those big moves up. Hopefully it's offset by some of the stability of the, uh, the gold and silver strategy. All right, guys, uh, that is pretty much it.
Now, if you do want to get your hands on this, then head over to my Robot Builders Club on Trading Nut. Links underneath the video. Uh, this is where you get this robot. Now, I'll have down the bottom here. Uh, I will have the video as well as a back test result. So this is November's bot. So I'll update that with December's bot. Uh, you'll be able to get access to that. The countdown timer will be ticking down. If you do want to get access to it, you need to join my Robot Builders Club and you'll get that as part of my robot lab. Um, have a look through this page and the course outline, all the other things that you get with this if you're keen on learning to automate some of your, uh, some of your strategy ideas or anything. I mean, there's so much you can do with this skill set. Um, there's so many bonuses in here as well. Well worthwhile checking out, at least after watching this video, guys. And if not, if it's not for you, then that's fine. Make sure you stay tuned to the channel. Hit subscribe, hit like, click on that notifications bell, click all, and we'll see you in a future video.